What's up everybody? My name is Dennis and in this episode of Black Tie Kitchen, we're gonna be making some low carb, keto friendly, blueberry lemon muffins that are savory, sweet, and incredibly simple to make. So what are we gonna need? Well, we're gonna need two cups of almond flour, which is about 224 grams. We will also need one cup of heavy whipping cream. If you're doing keto, make sure you get the stuff that has zero grams of carbs, which usually ends up being the organic stuff, but you can find some others that are not. We will also need two large eggs, a quarter cup of melted butter. This ends up being about a stick. Now, I'm using salted butter. If you use unsalted, just add a pinch or two of salt and you should be right in the place where you need to be. We will also need a half a teaspoon of stevia. I'm using the granulated stuff. If you use the liquid stuff, it's about five drops. You can add a little more or use a little bit less. This, I find, is right in the sweet spot. We will also need one teaspoon of baking powder and one cup of fresh blueberries. You can do this with a half cup of blueberries, but I find that you end up having muffins that don't have blueberries in them, which kind of defeats the purpose of a blueberry muffin. So just use a cup. And we will also need a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, use orange juice or anything that's in the citrus arena. For some reason, citrus goes really well with blueberries. I don't know why, just ask Bill Nye the science guy. So let's get to mixing. So the first thing we want to do is we want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. The second thing is we want to put our butter to melt over low heat. Keep an eye on it because you don't want your butter to burn. It's incredibly easy to do. Ooh. So let's go ahead and crack our eggs into our pan. One. Two. Three. Oh, yolk everywhere. So we're just gonna beat these almost like you're beating an omelet. We want it to mix well. The reason we're mixing the eggs now is because it's a lot easier to beat when you have everything else in there. Let's just make some mess. So once that is beat, we're gonna add our cream. We're gonna give this a good stir as well to make sure it's all mixed well. And we're gonna add our dry ingredients. So we have our stevia, our baking powder, and our not so dry ingredient, the lime juice, or lemon juice, whichever one. I get lemon and lime mixed up very easily because in Spanish, lime is lemon and lemon is yellow. No, lemon is lime and lime is yellow. It's, it's confusing, all right? It's, It worked. Let's take a look at our butter. Oh, it's coming along nicely. In the meantime, while the butter melts, we have our blueberries here and I have a potato masher. We're gonna mash these a little bit because what I found is if you don't, you end up having that situation where you have blueberries everywhere and you get these little pockets of air with blueberries and it doesn't really bode very well. Let's just give these a small smash. We don't really wanna mat make a jam, we just kinda of wanna just a little bit, a little bit. Something like that. Melt butter, melt butter. I had a little bit of baking powder left in there and now it's all over my cutting board. That's a significant amount. I'm gonna grab some more and just A little, it's a little bit too much. We're gonna find out what happens. Don't do that. Don't pour it straight out of the container because that will happen. So who knows what is gonna happen. And this butter is good. Now typically you don't wanna mix something hot in with your eggs because it'll scramble it. But since we have the cream in here, which is cool, we're gonna be fine. Let's make sure to start stirring. these blueberries aside, I stir this. And the reason we're stirring it every time we add an ingredient is just because it's gonna be easier than when we add the almond flour and it turns into this big, doughy mess. And now, time for the flour. If you don't have almond flour, you can just use blanched almonds and 
put them in your food processor, make it really nice and fine. If you have roasted almonds, you can do the same. However, I don't recommend you use the smokehouse flavored ones or the chili pepper and that sort of thing. I know almond flour is a little bit expensive and it's really just ground up almonds. So this here has a good consistency. Everything looks to be mixed well. And what I'm gonna do now is add our blueberries. You don't wanna mix the blueberries in too much because since we mash them, we just kind of want streaks of them in the, in the muffins. So that there is good for me. And what you want to do is we have our cookie sheet. And we're going to use some cooking spray. And we're just going to liberally spray this. Almost like a musical. If you've never looked at the serving size of a cooking spray, it's a quarter of a second spray and there's 1,927 servings in a single can. Enough to feed an army and a half. So let's get this over here. Loud noises. Let's see if I can make 12 muffins or if I'm going to fail horribly. There's one, there's two, three, four, five, six. Don't try and be brave, just turn the muffin tin around. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Muffin Lane? Seven. I forgot how to count there for a second. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Now I've got some here. I've got the fear of the ones that are not quite up to the top. Up to the tippy top. This is where a spatula really comes in handy. You can see I can really scrape this bowl for maximum muffin excavation. All right, how can I, how can I? Perfect. So this is gonna go into the 350 degree oven for anywhere between 25 and 35 minutes or until the top is golden brown. To the oven. Look how beautiful these look. Yes, these are hot, but we like to live dangerously because that's how we do. So we're just gonna pop these out of here. Let's put this aside. sweet, it's savory, it's salty, it's moist, but it's not too dense. It's really, really good. Now, I will say if you leave these out for two or three days, they're gonna get a little dry, so just wash them down with some coffee or water or whatever it is you drink. These are really, really good. As you saw, it's incredibly simple. You literally throw everything in a bowl, mix it up, and throw it in the oven for a half hour. It doesn't get much better than that. Try it, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, also in the description. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and we get more videos of me trying things across this culinary landscape, and maybe you'll learn something or two. My name is Dennis with Black Tie Kitchen. Until next time, remember, cook like you ain't cleaning. What's your catchphrase? Let me know. In this episode, oh. <coughs> the muffin man do you know 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 the muffin man who lives on Drury Lane oh I, I do he's a dreary fellow do you know the muffin man the muffin man